Hi guys, Extermicide here, and this is my ultimate guide for Wraith. This will cover everything you need to know about playing this legend, and then some. So sit back, have your drink of choice in hand, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. So who is she? Wraith's real name age and homeworld are all confidential information and this information has been removed from her records but no one knows by who. Wraith is a whirlwind fighter, an interdimensional skirmisher who is able to execute swift and deadly attacks and manipulate space-time by opening rifts in the fabric of reality but she has no idea how she got that way. All she knows is that somewhere, someplace, some time ago she was touched by the supernatural. Years ago, she woke up in an IMC detention facility for the mentally ill with no memory of her life before. She also began hearing a distant voice whispering to her mind that would keep her awake for days on end. Despite nearly driving her insane, once she started to listen and trust it, the voice helped her harness her newfound power of void manipulation and escape the facility. Determined to uncover her true identity, Wraith began a quest to find out more about the experiments. Many of the old research facilities, however, are buried beneath heavily guarded arenas used for the Apex Games. Now Wraith has joined the competition, and with every match, she gets closer to the truth. So what are her abilities? Wraith has three noteworthy abilities. Voices from the Void, Into the Void, and Dimensional Rift. Let's talk about each of these in detail. First off, her passive ability, which is called Voices from the Void. From time to time, Wraith will hear voices in her head that will try to warn her that danger is approaching. They were unnerving at first, but from what she can tell, the voices are friendly and on her side. Having yourself an early warning system while in the Apex games is not necessarily a bad thing. It should be noted, however, that the voices are not like in your ear loud. It will take some getting used to playing this character before you start to actually notice them. So listen carefully. Next, let's talk about her tactical ability, which is called Into the Void. This ability allows Wraith to reposition quickly through the safety of void space, avoiding all damage and having her speed increase slightly. This allows her to get out of a bad situation that other legends could never hope to escape. This ability, when used correctly, is the equivalent of a get-out-of-jail-free card to avoid damage. This ability is on a 20-second cooldown. Another time you can use this ability is when you're trapped outside the ring and you're taking damage. Activate this ability and you will no longer take damage until the ability deactivates. Her final ability is her ultimate ability, and it's called Dimensional Rift. By far, this is one of the most powerful, versatile, and useful abilities in the entire game. Upon activation, it creates a two-way portal at your feet. Wraith stows her weapons, pulling an arm forward like a Superman pose, and sprints with increased speed for roughly 10 seconds. At any time you choose, or when time expires, you place a second portal at your feet. And at this point, your ultimate ends. For 60 seconds, these two portals are linked, and any player can freely travel between them. Notice I said any player. Yes, that includes enemy players, so it might be a good idea to practice trying to hide your portals. So here's a few tips. Tip number one. If your Into the Void tactical ability is on cooldown, you can also use this ability to get that increased run speed buff to get away. However, if you do this, make sure you run to where your teammates are and lay down the second portal. If you do this and the enemy decides to chase you by entering the portal themselves, they will be greeted on the other side by you and your teammates. Tip number two. Another great time to use this is if you see one of your teammates was gunned down, but can still be saved. Pop this ability which drops the first portal, sprint down to your teammate, and place the second portal. Res your teammate, and then both of you hop back into the portal to get to safety where your teammates can heal themselves up. 
tip number three. And just like in the last tip, if you see off in the distance a few unopened supply canisters or dead bodies to loot, you can activate this, sprint down, and do your looting knowing that if any unseen enemy starts opening fire on you, you can just jump back in your portal back to safety. Tip number four, staying together in this game is important. If you have a teammate who is far ahead of you and your other teammate, use this ability to sprint to your teammate who is ahead, place your second portal, and now your buddy who is left behind can now step into the portal and catch up with the team. With portals, try thinking outside the box because the possibilities are limitless. So, final thoughts. Rape's interdimensional skirmisher tag is right on the money. Her abilities are very mobility and stealth focused, with her main strength being the tactical ability which allows her to enter a state where she becomes invisible for a short while, though be aware that you cannot fire and also can't see enemies while this effect is active. But this, combined with her passive, allows her to easily reposition herself to counter incoming threats ahead of time. Her Dimensional Rift Ultimate takes some planning to use efficiently, but I've certainly seen it used to great effect, allowing an entire team to quickly reposition themselves for a devastating surprise attack on an enemy team. Overall, Wraith is an excellent initiator and escaper, and if you were going to pick any character to play as a solo without a team, it would be Wraith. So there you have it, all the info you need to rock with this legend in the Apex Games Arena. Remember to hit those subscribe and like buttons guys, and if you have any personal tips of your own that I didn't cover, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Until next time guys, Exterbicide out. <laughs>